so hi everyone today we'll be discussing on what are deep fm and how they can be used for recommendation system so let's get started so before prior to this i have already explained what is collaborative filtering what is matrix factorization ncf and factorization machine so today we uh, we will be talking about deep fm so before moving on to deep fm we must know that deep fms are considered as an advanced version of factorization machine so this is something that i have already explained in my previous videos so first of all we'll try to recapitulate what are factorization machine so factorization machines are nothing but an extension of linear regression where apart from capturing the user item interaction we are also using the user and the item features as well while making the recommendation system so deep fm can be considered as a neural network version of factorization machine so in case of factorization machine uh, we are trying to capture higher order relationships by using deep fm we would be trying to capture non linear relationships as well so to understand what more about factorization machine how they work what is the equation you can uh, follow up in the previous video so we are talking about the architecture of deep fm so deep fm uh, like saying is pretty much similar to ncf so ncf is for ncf can be taken as an extension of collaborative filtering and matrix factorization similarly a deep fm is an extension of factorization machine so we'll start off with all the features that we get assume that we have features field 1 field i field j till field m now this will include the user item interaction alongside user and item features also the next step is to convert these features into one out encode so if we have categorical features in this particular data set they would be converted into sparse uh, in, into one out encodes if they are continuous features we leave them as well as them as it is the next layer is an embedding layer so these one out encoded features will be then fed to dense embedding layer where we would be generating embeddings for each of the one out encoded feature along the continuous features for so for each feature we would be generating an embedding of uh, the fixed size now once we have generated embeddings for each of the feature we will be dividing this architecture into two parts one is the factorization machine part other is the dnn part so let's first of all start with the input and output so as convert the deep fm is an extension of a factorization machine the input is quite similar to what goes into factorization machine that is one out encoded features the next layer is embedding layer as i have already told you the now once the embedding layer is generated the embeddings are then passed on to uh, two parts one is the factorization machine that is the left side of the diagram as told here where we are following this particular equation y equals to w0 plus summation wi into xi plus summation summation uh, these vi dot vj vi represents latent factor xi into xj so to understand this whole equation you need to go to my previous video and understand what this equation is all about because i have already explained a factorization machine here i have given you a label ki what is y y is label w is bias w i is weights x i is the features for one out encoded feature set and w i w j is dot product between latent vectors the dot product is basically the embedding that we are generating now uh, this is the left hand side moving on to the right hand side is a dnn so this is nothing but very similar to the ncf uh, multi layer perceptron that we developed so what happens here is that we are feeding all these embeddings into a, a general uh, neural network uh, which comprises of multiple hidden layers and the final layer is a sigma uh, the final output goes through a sigma factorization function so basically talking about the final output the output from the factorization machine that is the left part and the dnn that is the right part are then combined together uh, concatenated and then sigmoid activation function is applied and deep fm can be taken as embedding layer and sigmoid over factorization machine plus dnn that's it it is nothing complicated and very very similar to ncf where ncf is an extension for uh, matrix factorization 